and welcome to Unity Top 10 Errors. So this is going to be 10 broken down segments of errors. Um, I've recreated the errors and then I'm going to show you how to fix them. Really easy. So the first error I'm going to show you on my list is, the, is a more common one found. Is expecting EOF bracket. So first let's break it down. The very first thing you see on the errors down here or up there is assets bracket movement.js. Movement.js is my script name, it's right there, movement.javascript. If you're using C sharp it'll be .cs or something, um, or whatever your script name is. Slash assets is the folder it's in. If I move it inside standard assets here, you'll see the error. Changes, but it's still in the same place. As you can see, standard assets now. The two brackets is first 36. So that's a line number. So when you go down, it's the line it's on. And the second one is the characters across that it is. So if we go to line 36 of well, line 36 of movement and go across one, you'll see we get an error. Where, that's where an error is. Then you get an error code, which you don't really need to pay attention to, but some people online can tell what the error code is and tell you help your problem better. And then it gives you an actual error. Some errors are really, really easy to read, some are so not. This error says expecting EOF found bracket. EOF stands for end of function. So basically it's trying to find the end of the function but it found a bracket. So usually that means you've added a bracket you shouldn't have added. So let's go and have a look. So we go up to our movement script here. Line 36 and we go across 1. So, uh, let me know that. So we go down to line 36, is right here, and we found 1. So it's found a bracket. And the easy way to fix this is to actually trace your brackets. It's hard on a long script, but hey. So if you've got a um, an editor, which where you click it, it links the brackets. So that's red, and its linked bracket is there. Well, that's clearly not right. So we'll trace the next bracket. Click that one. It's there. Okay. That shouldn't be there. That should be that one. So that one is a missing bracket. So if we get rid of that, those two link up. Those two link up because you can see the red. Click that one and those two link up. So if we save it and go back to Unity, you'll see that that error disappears, like so. So that's the first error fixed. Let's move on to the next one. So here is another common error Unity finds. So it gives you a script name in the line, it's 361 again, same thing. Bracket, expecting bracket, but it found nothing. The dot, don't worry about that. These two here are actually speech marks. It's Anything in the speech marks, that's where it's found instead. So if it's just two speech marks, it's found nothing. So basically you're missing a bracket somewhere, that's what it's saying, you need to put a bracket in. So if we go to line 36 of 1, you'll see that when we scroll down, line 36 has got no bracket on it. So we add a bracket to it, save it, and so that's how to fix that error, really, really simple. So let's move on to the next one. So for our next error, you'll see that we don't actually have an error because some errors don't appear through scripting until you play. So if we click play and we press space, which I've programmed to fire or spawn something, you see it doesn't do anything. It throws an error. So this error here says unassigned reference exception. And what that basically means is you have not assigned it what you're trying to reference. So reference means you are talking about something, you are referencing something. So if you're talking to someone about a movie, you're saying, I just saw this name movie, you're referencing that movie. So you are not, you have not assigned a reference what you're trying to basically play with. The variable bullet of movement has not been assigned. You probably need to assign the bullet variable of the movement script in the inspector. Easy enough, so let's follow its instructions. We click character, and you see, oh, right there, bullet, we've not assigned it. So let's assign it something. What can I assign it? I don't know anything. Palm tree, it'll spawn palm trees. So well, everything down here is a bit, it's a bit more complex now. The first bit there we've already read. That's fine, the first two lines. The second one is actually the Unity's literal error. It's talking about the instantiate which I've used. You really don't need to pay attention to any of those because I never do. And basically that's literally going into Unity, to Unity's programming. So you can ignore all that bulk. This one here, movement.update. So it's saying what function it's in. So update. So if I go back, function update right here. And then at assets, standard by byte tells you where it is, line 29. So we come down it's this one here, it doesn't know what bullet is. Easy enough. 
if you learn this error off by heart, you don't need to ever look down there, so that's how good it is. So just to try it, we click play, we click space, it should spawn palm tree. Look at that, perfect. We spawn palm trees. We could, we could be known as like, I don't know, landscapers. So, this error is going to be a double whammy error, it's going to have two in one, but I can't really split them two up. So, the, we've put the bullet down, we can fire it, but now I've added a line that when we press space, it's going to go to a different script, grab the force available for that bullet, and then fire a palm tree forward. So we press space, and you see, we get two errors. We get this error, null reference exception, object reference not sent to an instance of the object. Pretty, a lot like the other one, but it can be, it names itself differently, so sometimes it'll name it script or something. So line 31, it doesn't understand what we're doing. So we go down to 31, here, spawn new item rid dot rigid body add force transform dot forward stats dot force if we double click stats you can see it's a script variable so it stores a script so that's how you do that so maybe we've not assigned the script because it's not as clever in this one not as straightforward i mean capture look at that we've not assigned stats so we assign it to it so we assign the main camera to it because that stores it there so that works so we press space and we should be able to fire a palm tree now so there. So we've made it actually spawn to the script now, which works really well. The only other thing we have to do is fire it forward. So you press space and you can see we get an error. So we press it, missing component exception. The exception appears a lot, so don't worry about that. But missing component basically means any single thing in your inspector is type of a component. Mesh filter component, mesh renderer component, character controller component, movement script component, material component. They're all components. There is no rigid body attached to your palm clone game object, but the script is trying to access it. So basically, you've programmed it, go to the palms or bullets, rigid body, and do something with it. You probably need to assign the rigid body to the game object, or your script needs to check if the component is attached. So it's a bit different there. You may need to add it, but some people may not want the rigid body on it. I, don't, I can't think of any reason. But you can actually check whether it's attached to your script. So you can either type, um, not there, rigid body, if rigid body dot active, blah, 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 but I'm not going to go into that. What I'm going to do instead is click our palm object, and I'm going to add component and type rigid body. And it's right there, click it, and we just click play, and that error will disappear. All it means is add again rigid body. That's simple. Boom. Perfect, we have a flying palm tree, because everybody wants one. So here is another common warning error if it's not bright red and refuses to let you play your game it's not an error this is just a warning you don't need to make you, you don't need to change it if it happens but it's a common one what people get confused with it's there it says there is two audio listeners in this scene please ensure there is a, always exactly one audio listener in the scene um, if you try to make your game super realistic you do not need an audio listener for each ear an audio listener basically is ears for your game, so it can hear things. If you didn't have one, you'd be deaf and the game won't be hear anything. So by default, any camera you put down comes with an audio listener, right there. It's got nothing on it, it's just there. You can disable it if you like, make them deaf, it doesn't matter. So it wants us to only have one. So where else do we have an audio listener? This is where it can get confusing, because if you've got multiple ones, you won't know. But I already know I put it on the capsule right here. I don't want him to hear from his ears, I want him to hear from the camera. So I'm going to right click, remove, you click play, and that error disappears. That's all it means, you've got two, you need to get rid of one. If you want multiple cameras, disable that component or disable the separate camera. So here is another common Unity error, a very common one when we're with working with arrays. Index, out of range is exception. Ignore it, exception again, index out of range. So basically, a lot like referencing, indexing pretty much means the same thing here. You are referencing, whatever you're referencing is out of range. So your array index is out of range. So a, a list of all your objects, you're trying to access an object which isn't there. So if we go back to our script on line 30, as you can see all that, right here. So it spawns that perfectly. But it's this bit here, it uses an array, I've changed it. Bullet, and it goes to array 0. So we go up, bullet, it's an, an array, perfect, okay? So what's wrong with it? If we go, the common one with this is you go to the inspector, and you see your bullet size is 0. And it's trying to access number 0. 
which it has got nothing in it. So change it to 1 and then add a game object into it and make sure your array is filled for everything you're calling. It's difficult, well it's not difficult, it's harder than doing it with single ones when you're using for loops but it works the same. So you can see we press space, no more error out of arrays. Perfect. Move on to next. So another common error we get in Unity a lot is when you're working with materials. So if I just turn that light off, you can see I've textured a cube with grass and textured that with the same material. As you can see, cube, if you take materials, grass, grass. Okay? So this grass, I don't want it to be grass anymore. I want it to be something else. I want the cube to be fire. So I'll change it to fire. But it's textured both. That's not what you want. The reason it's doing it is because they are using the same material. As you can see, when I click it on the cube and when I click it on the ground, it's the exact same material. There is no other way to fix it except creating another material. So material, cube, texture this as fire, and drag it onto the cube. Texture this as grass, so click grass, texture it as grass, and grass and dirt. Then you've got two separate materials. You can switch them if you like, like so. I'm going to keep them how it was. That's how you fix the multiple materials glitch. Make sure you watch out for that. So here is another common Unity error right here. Um, you don't need to worry about that one. So the error we've got here is it can be portrayed in two methods, this one. One I've seen got here is, and I'll explain in a minute, another one is saying that when you're using classes, the type, and then it names your class, does not have a visible constructor for, so then it bracket and then it lists it. But I'll explain it in a minute. So first we've got the script location, line 30, 29 characters across error code the best overload for the method movement fire unity game object is not compatible with the argument list so you're like what that doesn't make any sense we'll go and see so if i open up my um, movement script you can see i've replaced fire by sticking it in its own function so function fire then it specifies it needs to contain a bullet so you're specifying the bullet when you call it so i can have multiple fires and then it spawns it with bullet okay so I call it here. Can you see the error? It needs to contain a bullet. That's all it means. If it says that, find where you've called it. You've probably not named it correctly. So up here, we'll just type bullet zero. It needs to be a game object. It's a game object. Make sure they're the same. Click Unity. And you'll see it'll disappear because it's now transferring the bullet across. So, we're moving on to our next error very quickly, because I didn't know that was going to appear. Unknown identifier bullet. And we've configured all the rest already. So, it doesn't understand what bullet is. But we've already specified bullet. It's right there, look. But, yet, when we specify it here, it doesn't like it. It's Programming is very capital sensitive. You've got to make sure all they're the same. Bullet there and bullet there are two completely different objects. Unity does not relate them at all. It doesn't even know they're both called bullet. So make sure you keep it the same and then that error should disappear. So that was three, well, not three, ten Unity errors. Not most commonly ones found, but it's ten common ones I've experienced while answering the comments from you. If you have any more errors you would like me to go over, if you think other people should know about them, please feel free. Um, in the description I'll do a little clicky thing so you can jump to each error. I really hope you liked it. If you like it I'll do a part two maybe, if not I won't. Um, it's a bit different. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next